Hey folks, this is Troy. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to explain to everyone what an SVG file is and why you would want or need one. I've been doing online tutorials and online classes for Inkscape and how to create SVG files and I realize some people may not be attending because they just simply don't understand what they are or why you would need them. An SVG file is a scalable vector graphic. This means it has two properties that we're primarily concerned with when it comes to design space and the Cricut in order to make use of them. One is scalability. So if you have a JPEG or PNG file and you try to resize that image and make it very large, it's going to lose quality. It's going to get very fuzzy and blocky and distorted. I like to give everyone the real world example of taking a wallet size photograph, put it on a copy machine, try to blow it up to an 11 by 17 portrait using the copier. It's going to get very fuzzy and you're going to lose a lot of the quality when you do that. Scalable vector graphic can be resized without losing its quality. The second property is the ability to layer the colors to replicate on the computer digitally what you're going to eventually output in physical material with design space in your Cricut. So if you're going to create an, a finished image like this, this is layered vinyl. It has black underneath and it has white and pink and yellow for the nose. That's all separate colors of, of vinyl. So if you're going to create something like that, you have to have a source file that's going to tell Design Space and the Cricut what to output and what mats to cut for you and, and all that good stuff. And then you're going to physically layer that on top of each layer to create your finished product. So how do we get SVG files? A couple of ways. You can download them online. You can get free ones, although I'd caution you against that because a lot of the websites that have SVG files for free bundle them with other things that contain viruses and malware. So uh, just to be clear, you, an SVG file itself cannot contain a virus, but it can be bundled with other things that may contain viruses or malware. For example, if they want you to download a downloader or a viewer to obtain your file, chances are you're going to get viruses or malware. So when you're downloading, it should be an SVG extension on the end of the file, or it could be zipped with some other files, and when you unzip it, it shouldn't contain an executable or something else you have to run to get to your SVG file. You're looking for those files with SVG extensions. Be very careful of that. Don't get a virus. You can also create SVG files a couple of different ways. Most people do it is to use an online converter. I'll put links down below to the two most popular ones I've seen. And most people use them online to create simple black and white cutouts of portraits. For example, this one. I'll put a piece of paper behind that so you can see it. And so that was done with an online SVG converter and converted to just a simple black outline that can be cut out of vinyl. So the online converters, there are ones that will convert full color images as well, but the problem with those is they're not intuitive. They can't make decisions for you because they don't know what you really want. So you may have to do a little bit of work in Inkscape to make an SVG file usable for Design Space and your Cricut Explorer because the files, you know, there's a lot of different reasons in, to have SVG files. They're, they're used in multiple industries. We want ones that are specifically designed for the, for the Cricut or for what we're going to do with it, which is the end result output of a layer product. The Just because a file is an SVG doesn't mean it's going to cut and be perfect for what you're, you're wanting to do. It could look great on the screen, but then when you cut it, it could just be a mess because it's on all different parts and in the mats and too many different pieces and layers and things like that. So you have really kind of have to understand them first before you work with them. And you want them as generally as simple as possible. So there are three primary videos I'd recommend everyone watch on my channel on creating an SVG with Inkscape. Inkscape is a free program you can download online from inkscape.org, not .com. Do not search for it. Again, it can be bundled with viruses or malware. So just go directly to inkscape.org to download it. It's available for Windows and for the Mac, and you can use Inkscape to trace 
images to create your own SVG files. Those three videos, I'll put the links to these down below as well, but the one for creating a simple logo, that's the first one anyone should watch. It, it's just a real simple two-color logo and, and tells you how to create an, a proper SVG for layering material. And I do most of my work with vinyl. Matter of fact, I do all my work with vinyl right now. So uh, that's that's what the uh, I gear these for. The second one is tracing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle head, and then there's a third one on a Hello Kitty file trace. The There is a fourth video, once you get some experience, I'd recommend you watch. It is how to fix some problems with existing SVG files. As I mentioned, these SVGs are created for all different things, so just because you get one doesn't mean it's right for what you want. And I show a couple examples in that video of how you can get an SVG file that might have just a couple little problems, and you can fix those and, and make them very usable for your design and, and for use in design space and cutting out of material with the Cricut Explorer. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.